Hey everyone, it's Lauren Messiah, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make your closet your sanctuary. Yes, I've been getting a lot of requests for a closet sanctuary video, so I think I teased it long ago, and it was just like, I just never did it. So, I fully believe that your closet needs to be a space where you feel inspired, you feel comfortable, a place where you don't feel chaos and dread and all those awful emotions that come with standing in front of your closet and being like, what the heck am I supposed to wear today? I have cleaned out hundreds of closets and it is always shocking to me to see the types of nightmares people are living with. It's like they've got a Halloween costume hung up, they got a bathing suit, three sweaters, a t-shirt, jeans. It just makes no sense. It looks crazy. One of the closets that I cleaned out, actually I have that video in my client makeover playlist if you wanted to check it out. But I was like, why are there pajamas in your regular closet? She was like, what? I'm like, dude, you've got like, uh, I think there were penguins or polar bears or something penguin pajamas in your closet with your regular clothes. I was like, go put those in a drawer. She's like, oh yeah, I never thought about that. You wanna walk into your closet and feel like it's this beautiful boutique that you want to shop. Like you should want to shop your own closet instead of walking in and being like, let's burn this whole thing down. I hate everything in my closet. I need to go shopping. We don't wanna have that feeling. So obviously we're sitting in my closet right now and clearly, not everyone has the luxury of having an entire second bedroom to be your closet. So I'm not saying that it has to be just like this to be your sanctuary. You can still create a sanctuary, whether you have a normal size walk-in closet, a small closet, even, heck, even if you don't have a closet, I got solutions for you. Okay, so here's a couple tips to make your closet a much nicer place to be. First tip, uniform hangers. Nothing is more like chaotic and messy than a whole bunch of mismatch hangers. I have seen closets that have a combination of wire hangers, wooden hangers, those hideous, hideous plastic tubular hangers. I think I hate those more than a dry cleaning hanger. A uh, couple of the felt hangers, the felt hangers are my personal favorite. They're all mismatched, the colors are messed up, they're store hangers. Stop doing that, don't do that anymore. Go out and get the same exact hangers for your entire closet. I have one slight variation in the hangers in my closet and that is for my jacket rack. So for my jackets, I have a lot of the wooden hangers because, you know, these are my jackets, and I have the room for them. Typically, wooden hangers take up way too much room. I prefer you to have a nice, thin, felt slimline hanger in all of the same colors. They come in tan, they come in black. Even if you go, come on now, come on now. Even if you go to like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods, sometimes they have them in pink, but you wanna be careful Give me another little tip. You want to be careful if you go for like, oh, they have pink ones, they're so pretty. You might not be able to find more of the pink ones later, or you might not be able to find the same shade of pink. So for me, it's a lot safer to go black or to go tan. So uniform hangers is tip number one. Tip number two, merchandise. This should be like common knowledge, but based on the number of closets I've been in, it's not, so I'm gonna tell you what to do. You know when you go to a store and all of the shirts are like together, uh, things are color coordinated where you can see like all of the white things together, everything kind of flows and makes sense. You wouldn't find a winter parka hung up next to a bathing suit. So I want you to do the same thing in your closet. If you can kind of see here, I don't know how much you can see, but I have like a color coordination thing happening in my closet. So with my jackets, they're going light to dark. I've got the white jackets flowing all the way down to the black jackets. 
So all the jackets are together. I'm not going to find a jacket over there with my dresses. All the jackets are together and then they are being in a nice color family. All the denim jackets are here to play. All the blue jackets, the navy with the stripes. We've got the plaids, the reds, we got camos together. So it makes it very easy to navigate your closet to get dressed and it just has like a calming effect. It's like everything belongs, okay? So merchandising will be a huge, huge game changer. Even my jeans, the blue jeans are together, the black jeans are together. It just makes a lot more sense, okay? So we got proper hangers, we've got things merchandised, we are already like way ahead of the game. If you have, tip number three, if you have space, and you don't even have to have a lot of space, a shelf, a little table nearby, some little surface in your closet area or the vicinity, making a nice little like arrangement with your goods really gives that like nice kind of boutique feel. So if you have a beautiful handbag, you know, you splurge, you got a designer bag, you got a designer shoe, don't be afraid to like really put that on display. So like in my closet, you know, I got a little area where the shoes that are like, now listen, I love all of my shoes, but the shoes that maybe aren't as special as some, they're lined up in rows, they're just chilling. But my like stunner shoes, we see them near the stunner bag. So if you can create these little like vignettes, uh, these little arrangements, that kind of really helps with that sanctuary feeling too. It could even just be like buying uh, a little necklace tree and putting some of your favorite necklaces and sticking that on your dresser that's next to your closet or putting a pair of shoes on top of a stack of books on your dresser that is again like right near your closet. That just kind of helps like tie in in that feeling, okay? Next tip, think we're on tip number four. If you can get yourself a cute rack, we are winning. So the rack obviously doesn't need to go inside of your closet. I'm in a room, okay, that is so not common. I'm not even expecting anyone watching to have the same setup. But when I didn't have a room as a closet, I would keep, you know, my normal clothes in the closet and then I'd have like a nice rolling rack that I could keep some of my favorite pieces or maybe the outfits that I was going to wear during the week. It just gives your clothes like just a, it just kind of like elevates their, their very existence. So you can find cute racks on like, seriously, like Urban Outfitters, they've got cute racks. Um, go on Wayfair, they probably have some cute racks, like any type of home decor, you know who has cute ones? CB2 has cute ones. And just a cute little rack. It could just be in the corner of your bedroom, just with some beautiful jackets, a beautiful dress. It's just kind of tying in that like, you know what? Style is all around me and it makes me feel good. And when I put this on, I can take over the world. So those little tweaks are super helpful. Okay, tip number five is anything that makes you have kind of that like spa-like feeling. It could be a candle, it could be a little tea set, it could be some like nice magazines fanned out, uh, a little tray. So in my closet, the thing that I'm sitting on right now, this little ottoman, I'll have a tea set here, I'll have some magazines here, I'll have um, you know a candle. This is my little surface. But if this is just like your bedroom and you got your bedroom closet, you could put a tray at the foot of the bed and have, you know, a beautiful, you know, glass that you drink water out of and a great magazine. So anything that kind of gives you that luxurious, relaxing feeling, I think looks nice and it feels nice. And that really helps create that sanctuary. Uh, I think this is my last tip. Tip number six, I think we're on is having some sort of like getting ready zone. So I actually have this in my bedroom. It used to be in my actual closet room, but I just have a nice little table set up with a mirror and you know my makeup, just so when you're getting ready, it feels good. Have your full length mirror nearby so you can check out your outfit. 
it's tying the whole appearance experience together from having an organized closet in the great hangers to being able to look at yourself, your whole self, to being able to apply makeup with a beautiful candle like burning in the background. It just adds an experience to getting dressed. I don't know when the last time, maybe, I can't even think of a time that I put on makeup in the bathroom. Savage, what? What are you thinking, putting on makeup in the bathroom? Get yourself a little table, it can even be a tiny table, but just to sit there and just kind of enjoy dolling yourself up. So those are my tips for creating yourself a closet sanctuary. Any rugs you can add, decor, pictures, those are a bonus. Hell, we'll call that tip number seven, decorate the space, okay? But those are the tips. Create your little sanctuary. Let me know how it goes in the comment section. If you have any other ideas on how to create a closet sanctuary, I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Laura Messiah. So, I'm Laura Messiah. Hello. <laughs> Here, I took a oversized Dodgers jersey, which is for a man. Yeah. Put a belt over it and that. some heels. We have just brought sexy back yes, you have. to the Dodgers. So, you know. I mean, the Puig jersey has never looked so good. <laughs> like this.